we are now looking at weak acids and weak bases. A strong acid or strong base fully dissociates in solution, so we can figure out the concentration of the hydrogen ion or hydroxide ion from the concentration of the acid base. But for weak one, we can't do it directly. We need the Ka in addition to the concentration or the Kb for the base. So if we have a 0.25 molar solution of phenol with a Ka of 1.6 times 10 minus 10, what is the pH of that solution? So by saying Ka, we're saying it's an acid reaction. So we write the phenol reacting with water to form the hydronium ion and the conjugate base. We have added none of the conjugate base or no other source of acids. So these are initially zero. We have a 0.25 molar of phenol. Our change variable is going to go uh, subtracting off the reactants and adding on to the products. We add initial and change to get our equilibrium expression. Then we're going to do a test to see if we can simplify this calculation. So we do our acid over the Ka. And if it's above 500, we can assume that the change variable is small enough to be ignored compared to the initial concentration. And this is well larger than 500. So we can make that assumption. It saves us from doing a quadratic equation calculation. So we set up our products or reactants, so our x times x over 0.25 minus x. We subtract, we drop off that minus x from 0.25. Now it just comes a, a square root calculation. We multiply the 0.25 across, do the square root of it. We end up with 6.3 times 10 minus 6 as x, and x is also the hydrogen ion concentration. So we have just figured out what the hydronium ion concentration is. We do the negative base 10 log of it and we get a pH of 5.20. So let's go a different direction here. We have a hypobromous acid, a 0 0.063 molar solution, and a pH of 4.95. We want to know what this Ka is. So we set up the reaction. So the acid with water produces the hydronium ion and the conjugate base. Put in our initial concentrations, our change variable, add them together to get our equilibrium expression. But the x is equal to the hydrogen ion concentration, and we can get the hydrogen ion concentration from the pH. So 10 to the minus pH will give us our hydrogen ion concentration of 1.1 times 10 minus 5. We write out our equilibrium expression in terms of the change variable, put in the value for x run it through our calculator, we end up with a Ka of 1.9 times 10 minus 9. Let's do a base this time, so triethylamine. The means are organic compounds that contain nitrogen, and they are basic because the nitrogen has a lone pair on it that loves to attract protons. This triethyl Amine has a Kb of 4.0 times 10 minus 4, concentration of 0.2 mole. We want to know what its pH is. So we set up the reaction, the base plus water. The nitrogen will get protonated, leaving hydroxide behind, which is why it's the base. We put in our initial concentrations, our change variable. And again, we have no products, so we're going to subtract off the reactants and add to the products. Add initial and change together to get the equilibrium expression in terms of change variable. And we can do a, a check to see if we can ignore the change variable compared to the initial. So the base over Kb, this one comes out to be right at 500. It's not greater than 500, it's right at 500. So I'm not going to ignore this x compared to the point 0.2. That means we're going to use our quadratic equation. So we write our expression, products over reactants, so x times x, x squared, or the 0.2 minus x. Then I'm starting to rearrange it. So I'm multiplying the 0.2 minus x across, and then I'm going to pull everything on the same side as x squared. So I get it in the form of a quadratic expression, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So now I can use the solution to that, minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. I put in the values I have, 
and I'm going to get two answers. Two answers are positive value and negative value. But if I put a negative value in for x, I will end up with a negative concentration, and that is just not allowed. It just doesn't make sense to us. So the positive one is going to be the valid one, and the x value is our hydroxide ion concentration. So we have our hydroxide concentration of 8.7 times 10 minus 3. So we can turn that into a pH, pOH by doing the negative base 10 log of it. We get a pOH of 2.06. Subtract that from 14, and we get a pH of 11.94. And if we needed it, uh, the hydrogen ion would be uh, 10 to the minus pH, so 10 to the minus 11.94, or 1.1 times 10 to the minus 12 molarity. So a couple additional uh, questions that could have been in some of the other videos, but this will round off all the questions from our worksheet. Benzoic acid is Ka of 6.5 times 10 minus 5. What is the Kb of this conjugate base? Well, for a conjugate acid-base system, Ka times Kb equals Kw. So we can use this to convert our Ka into Kb. Kb will be Kw over Ka. We put in our values and we end up with a Kb of 1.5 times 10 minus 10. And if we want to know the pH of a 0.15 molar potassium hydroxide solution, this is not a weak base as the triethyl mean is. So this is expected to fully disassociate in solution. So the 0.15 molar potassium hydroxide will give us 0.15 molar hydroxide. So we do the negative base 10 log, we get our pOH of 0.82. Subtract that from 14, and we get a pH of 13.18. So comparing these two, the weak acid, 0.2 is slightly higher concentration than 0.15. Our potassium hydroxide, the strong base, is 13.18. The weaker base is a little bit smaller, 11.94. And then the last question, caffeine is a weak base. If we make a salt out of it, what is the acidity, basic, basicity of that salt. So this is a weak base. We protonated it. So this is going to be the conjugate acid. This one was made with water, so it doesn't have a um, proper counter ion. But if we had added a little acid here, we could end up with this. We can protonate it with a counter ion of nitrate. The nitrate does not affect pH of, of water. So this is just the uh, conjugate acid of the weak base caffeine. So that means that this salt here is going to be a weak acid. So that finishes this chapter. We're going to go on to uh, the next chapter, buffers and solubility of uh, some compounds.